Welcome to the Brothers Barn, everyone. Today, my brother and I, we're going to talk to you a little bit about the Xbox Series X. So, bro, start them off. Tell them a little bit of what you know right now. Hey, how's it going? How's everybody doing? Um, yes, this is a very, very, I guess, hot subject, you could say right now, about the new Xbox. <sighs> yeah, there's a lot going on with it, so... Um, and it's not even out yet. So it's making a little bit of a buzz in the gaming community and the tech community. So I think it'd be kind of cool to break some stuff down and talk about it. That's right. That's right. It's, it's nice to look at all the information and read up all the news and try to find all the details that we can find out, you know, prior to Microsoft truly releasing everything that they know on this. Yeah, there's there's a lot of leaks out there. I mean, some stuff is, you know, obviously you got to take with a really grain small of, grain of salt. Yeah, but yeah, really. <laughs> you can't believe everything, but there's some stuff that's, you know, pretty, um, I would say, good evidence towards what it could be, uh, what could be going on with them. So a little bit we could talk about the trailer that Xbox released and and the shape that it is. And it's kind of oddly shaped, I think. You know, yeah. they made it into a tower. Yeah, it's definitely not your typical console box. Um, they, It seems like they went straight up and got a PC case and was like, all right, let's make it look like that, you know? <laughs> make it look like right. a computer. <laughs> yeah, and, and I think my belief is partly is... You know, they probably wanted to design this to get all these specs and make sure what they truly wanted in this console would actually fit into what is needed. Instead of maybe starting with, hey, we want the shape to look like this, fit all this stuff in here. Let's go, hey, we want all this stuff. Let's make the shape around it so it fits. And typically, you know, the consoles are getting more advanced and a lot more powerful i mean that they're basically many pcs i mean right. so so it, the concept kind of makes sense they're definitely going in the more pc direction i feel like there's even been rumors now this is a rumor so i haven't looked at it much <laughs> but it uh that supposedly they were going to have a windows feature on it i don't know oh, if really? that's true or not but if so, wow. that kind of shows what they're really pushing towards, you know. All right, yes. Yeah, so the the size the size factor they went with it's kind of funny on Twitter when they first showed it. People were actually comparing it to a, a refrigerator. <laughs> so what? I don't know. Yeah, they were putting it like pictures next to a refrigerator, and it was like, oh, the new Xbox looks like a refrigerator. Oh boy! Yeah. Did you like, imagine setting that under your TV? Yeah, I was like, oh gosh, people were going way too. Over or that it's obviously not going to be that big but i'd, I'd hope not because i don't want a two-wheel dolly just to bring in my next console you know <laughs> yeah i gotta hire somebody to move it in the house for me it's so big uh, that's gonna be a 200 dollar shipping charge <laughs> yeah but I, I just thought that was funny like people kind of get way too crazy with it it's probably honestly not going to be that like big, yeah, it might be awkward to fit underneath the uh, entertainment center, but because uh, I'm pretty sure you have to stand it straight up from the looks of it, the fans are going to be on the top. Yeah, so, I did. I did hear that they're supposed to be able to lay it on its side also. So if you can lay it on its side or stand it up, I think that it, helps it. Hopefully, they give you that option. Yes, because. But I think the biggest thing is even on its side. It's, it looks like it's the same width as a controller. So most entertainment centers that, you know, you have in your living room and stuff are just wider than, you know, like a DVD player and stuff. Just maybe a little bit wider than that. So it might be just a little bit too thick for your standard entertainment center. Yeah, I, I think it may be a little bulky myself. I tend to like this, I guess, smaller scale. Game the slim, sleeker, slimmer yeah. size, like a play, the yeah. PlayStation. I kind of like that form factor better, but uh, it'll be interesting to see. That's for sure. Yeah, it would. And you talk, you brought up the fan, and I, I 
I've been really thinking about that fan because I know back when the Xbox 360s came out, you know, they had the overheating issues. <laughs> Yeah. And I'm sure they've learned from that. But just looking at that design, and it has, my understanding, one fan in it, and it's two, if not three times more powerful than the the Xbox One X. Yeah, that, that's going to be a big task. That's a big task with anything like that is keeping it cool. Like the PS4 Pro, that thing, heats up so fast and it sounds like a jet engine you know because right. the fans are spinning up so loud um, so, i mean the one fan yeah it probably helps with the re noise reduction but i hope that's not going to suffer with an overheat issue because you know looking at some of the pictures and stuff that has been leaked out and stuff you can kind of see that it doesn't look like there's a, a whole lot of ventilation going on with it and that Kind of concerns me. Yeah, it's almost like it looks like just the top, right? I mean, yeah. If I, you look at the pictures, it's kind of just like the top has the holes. I don't even those one leaked pictures where uh, somebody had a prototype, I guess, <laughs> and posted it to Twitter. The yeah. backside doesn't even look like it has any ventilation there. All right. Um, so that, I'm hoping, you know. We just don't know what we're saying because that <laughs> that is a, a a small concern I see with the design is it doesn't look like it has the best ventilation for overheating with it being so powerful. Yeah, I mean I'm no tech expert, but uh, yeah, it it would be a little concerning, I guess. Um, so we really have to just wait and see how they tackle that heating issue. I'm right. sure they'll have something something hopefully up their sleeve yeah and then back to the actual size of the series x i mean it looks like it's going to be about three times as tall as like putting the xbox controller stacked yeah. up so i'd say that's probably about three-fourths of a computer tower height i definitely would agree yeah yeah so so the height is again if you're standing up straight up like we most of all the pictures show it, it's going to be odd if if you're using that just for your living room entertainment center or whatnot but if they're trying to kind of make it more a pc style then you know you're most of those people that you know game on pcs or stream or youtube you know, or whatever i, I kind of sorry something just came my mind i kind of wonder if i could be crazy but what if they made it look like a pc tower because traditionally everybody's always like oh pc gaming's more powerful than console gaming you see That's what i'm a, saying <laughs> that is a very good theory because yeah image makes it look like it's right. more powerful than what it truly is right the image like because you're going to look at it and you're going to think oh that that that's a PC. that's a beast yeah, yeah that's, that's powerful a... oh my god it's a pc and what kind of graphics cards that thing's holding yeah, you know exactly. i kind of wonder five? If it, there's a little bit of marketing you know strategy to that the way that's a that's a very good thought process because it's very possible that they just like hey Let's make it look like a PC so people think it's more buff than what it truly is. Yeah, because, I mean, it really, and it, true, it is true, PC gaming a lot of times is more way, is ahead of tr console gaming, you know? Oh, yeah. But oh, it's yeah, by far. cost you a lot more money also to get those high-end PCs and graphics cards and all that stuff, so. And, and didn't you tell me that, like, the games... For the first couple of years, there's not going to be a game that is just for the Series X. Yeah, exactly. They came out and said that. So Microsoft came out and said that there's not going to be an exclusive game for the Series X for like the first two years. Wow. <laughs> wow. So, so it's like that game for the Series X you can use on Xbox One X. Yeah, also, yeah, you can. So they're saying if a, they make a game, you can play it on the Xbox One that's out right now, or the traditional Xbox One, which is like the one that came out what four or five years ago now already. So yeah, it's gonna be kind of like 
why am I going to run out and buy this new Xbox if I there's really nothing exclusive for it, you know? Yeah, that is that kind of I mean, in some ways that kind of helps them to get ready for everybody cuz you know, you're going to people want to go buy it and if you have to go buy three or four or five games, that's that's a big big advance right. uh, big cost right off the get go, but so I can kind of get the marketing strategy on that just a little bit because you know you get the xbox series x and then you got to go buy two or three games because no one wants just one game right let's just be honest no one wants one game and then if you make it wait for a couple years and then they just got a true hard game that's just for that but on the side note like i think what you're saying is what makes it where it's more buff or better than anything else. Why should I just go run out and buy it right now? What's the right. perk? Uh, it's kind of like they they have a good thing, but then it's also a bad thing, you know? Like, right. It, if it's such a better console, and then the same games are going to be played on the other consoles, you know, I, I just felt like they should at least had a couple games exclusive saying, oh, hey, look, this is what this new Series X xbox can do like look at this game you know that's yeah, my opinion yeah i think that that would have probably helped them in the long run probably but you know it's still early on so we will still see yeah they could come out with something so you know we've, we're talked about the the console the the tower for the series now that controller it looks like they designed it just a little bit different than all the other controllers that they have, but kept it pretty similar. So, to my understanding is, they have, on the back side, they've made it more of a, like a curve to the controller instead of just like a straight runoff like the old Xbox controllers are. To help with the the gripping, my understanding, and just the design of it okay so it's like slight tweaks to like how it would feel in your hands and stuff uh, more so yes and and i think they made the controller just a tad bit smaller because the standard xbox controllers are a little bit bigger so if you do have smaller hands or whatever it's probably harder for you to grip them and stuff so i think they tried to accommodate the the two and slim it down just a little bit i could see and where then, that would help yeah i think that would be a nice little um because on a playstation controller I, I i feel like it's too small xbox i feel right. it, i feel it's pretty comfortable actually but yeah maybe just a hair bit smaller would make that like the perfect fit so i think that i mean i think that's going to help so them because i know a lot of people much... love so they're pretty much trying to like make it because I guess that would be a complaint about the Xbox controllers. Some people thought it's too big, like you right know, for their hands. So I guess they're maybe they're trying to find that fine tune it and fine tune spot that okay. Um, most people will think it's comfortable, you know, I mean, yes. that makes sense. Yeah, and I, I think that's one of the big things Xbox does have for it is the controller is really comfortable actually for gaming for long periods of time right and and truthfully what else do they really need to do with the controllers you know what i mean like what more yeah. could they add to change it i mean they're so standard now it seems like uh, across the board like another thing i think they added is they added a quick share button like right there in the middle of the controller so you know, if something cool happens, you can click that share button, just kind of like PlayStation has. Uh, okay, so they're going that route, as like Sony did with, you yeah. know, the PS4 and the share button. Yes, so that so they added that, which I think is a pretty nice feature to have. So enough on that controller. So, you know, we talked about it. We've seen a lot of the pictures. The the thing looks like a beast. It looks like a monster. Um, I hope that they are packing a big punch with the design and that they're not like you said which is a very good point you know hopefully it's not just marketing tool to make it look like it's stronger than what it truly is yeah they're claiming it's gonna be the most powerful let's, so, let's see 
<laughs> yeah, we're going to see. We're going to see. Yeah. You know, it's supposed to release this holiday season in 2020, so yeah. I'm my guess is it's going to be right around Thanksgiving time frame. Yeah, generally, and, yeah, it's about that range. Yeah. Um so the big question, the question everybody wants to know, what will this thing cost? Yeah. How price. much will the Series X cost? So, bro, what do you think? What's the well, cost for this baby going to be? Yeah, I'm oh, putting man. It on you. I, I don't know. It's, uh, if they're claiming it's this almighty, powerful system, right? And right now, the Xbox One X costs four ninety nine. I believe that's correct. I'm pretty sure it's four ninety nine. Yeah. <laughs> so you're saying here's a new console and it's going to be more powerful than that. Like, damn, do they come out and say it's going to be five hundred ninety nine dollars? Like, I think they might, but if they do, that may be a little too much. I, in my opinion. Yep. I for think, a console, I, I think you you're probably. Close. So you're estimating it's going to be five ninety nine. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, I bet. I bet you they come out crazy, <laughs> crazy as shit, and say five hundred ninety nine. Bro, that is the exact number I had in my mind. It's <laughs> five ninety nine. I swear yeah. that is the exact number. That's funny. I mean, like, we haven't even talked about it. It's actually no. This, uh, that but, was uh, that's insane that we like, both were thinking. That. Yeah, it's like how do you get all this and all this power for, you know, four hundred bucks? I, I don't think you can. No, I I, I think you're right. Maybe, but uh. I I think it it's going to be probably at that five ninety nine mark. I think they're going to keep it under that six hundred because once you hit that six hundred, you know it. You really have to. You know, people that are in the market is like, man, six hundred dollars for a console, or you know, does it play DVD players? Does it play Blu-ray movies? I I don't know. I haven't heard nothing on that. So is it right. is it just going to play games or and you know, going kind of back to tie it all together with uh, how they said the two years they're going to make games for all the Xboxes? You know, um, there's not going to be an exclusive. Maybe it's right. kind of like, well. We'll put it at five ninety nine. This will this will be toward the hardcore Microsoft Xbox fans. They'll buy it if they really want it. And then in a couple of years, we can drop that price a little bit when our cost comes down. And then and maybe they can games. sell it, you know, for a little less. Maybe yep. that's what they're going to try to do. Maybe I. That's that's probably a good strategy, also. And yeah, um, I think so. So I, I'm I'm with you, bro. I really think five ninety nine is gonna be the number that it comes out at. Um, you guys watching? What what is your number? What do you act? You know, do you think it's gonna be five ninety nine? Do you think it's a little too high, a little too low? I mean, that's that's quite a bit. Of, Are you gonna have money. to get a second or third job? <laughs> Maybe a fourth. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's that's asking a lot for people that enjoy gaming and. You know, it's yeah, it's hobbies and it's entertainment. That's a big price to put on for for that. So I'm very interested to see what they truly hit that number at. But I'm with you, bro. I seriously, that's the number I had in my head, and that's the number I'm sticking with. Is that five ninety nine mark? Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I'm I very was... interested to see what everybody else is thinking. But yeah, that's... that that will be. So hopefully, if anybody has any guesses let us know down in the comments and see what you yes. think it might be yes and as always please hit the thumbs up you know we truly appreciate it you know if you yes. enjoy our channels as we continue to make videos and all yes. kinds of entertainment for you guys we hope you hit that subscribe button it truly helps us out you know we are we got a small goal to hit the 50 subscribers you know we're at 25 right now so we're halfway there so you know just a little bit more and we we just want to keep growing we we want to do the best we can do yeah we just really enjoy it and uh hopefully you like it it's in small improvements as we go along so yeah it'll get better and better yes and as always give us comments and let us know if there's something you you see that you did like or didn't like or things that you want us to do reviews or talk about and we're gladly to 
check it out and put it on the list to get done. Later, everyone. See y'all later.